Hello everyone, welcome back to another Call of Dragons video. It's your Moby here and I have an interesting topic to cover for you guys. Because as you all know, even if you're an experienced player or as a, or, or you're just starting out the game, the importance of buildings in the game is very 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 essential thing to know. So in this video, I'm going to cover the best five building upgrades you should be you should be doing in this game in order to have more more strategical as well as game beneficial for you in the game so let's get straight to the video welcome back in today's video we are going to dive into uh, the art of building updates one of the core elements of success in call of dragons is knowing which buildings to upgrade I'm going to walk you through the more five most essential buildings that can transform your gameplay, especially during these events that require you to enhance your city. So, whether you are a seasoned commander or just beginning your journey, this guide is packed with the insights that you won't want to miss. So let's straight start with the first building, that is your Hall of Order. This structure is the foundation of your city's development. The reason to prioritize its upgrade is very very plenty of. By upgrading your city hall, you unlock the world of possibilities. As the city hall in level increases, so does the access to additional buildings as well as expanding your opportunities in the game. It also plays a crucial role in your enhancing your legion capacity as well as legion queue. As you level it up, you can send out more marches for both battle as well as for farming. If you are aiming to have 5 marches at your disposal, then reaching city hall level 22 is a must. Because this feature brings a new level of flexibility to your battleground strategies. Enabling tactics like 2, uh, two open field marches in your hand with the 3 farming marches that will make, you make your resources to the city as well. So, upgrading your city hall order, order is very very essential in the starting stages as well as in the mid stages of the game so try to reach your hall of order level 25 as soon as possible if you can the next important building you should be focusing is the alliance Center. this building serve as a hub of hub for collaboration and support in between alliance members making it as a strategic cornerstone for your success because when you upgrade an alliance center, you benefit from more alliance helps. This can significantly reduce the time required for your specific research or policies. It's a wise move after you level up your city hall as it plays a vital role in your overall strategy. Upgrading the alliance center allows you to receive more support from your allies or your alliance members and decrease building and research time, giving you an important edge over your op competitors so maxing out your alliance center will help you give 13 health chances from your alliance members which will significantly significantly reduce the number of time taken for your research upgrades uh, as well as in alliance upgrades because in the final stages of the game as you can see here the whenever you're trying to reach t5 the researchers take so much time you can see that it already one of my defensive formations uh, defensive formation tech is 45 days in time to complete it, it it started as an 89 days but it reached down to 45 days but uh, with the help of runes as well as this alliance sender maxim because it is going to give me a lot of it's going to save me a lot of speed ups as well so the next important thing after your Hall of Order, to, you should be focusing on Alliance Center as soon as possible. So, let's get to the third building. That is College of Order or your Research Center. This is where the magic of research happens and it, it is a must upgrading build up, upgradable building. Because upgrading your Research Center or College of Order offers a significant boost in your research. As you can see here, I am already at level 24 and I am getting a research speed bonus of 18% which is very very nice. 
once your research le once your college of order level reach reaches level 25 it will grant you a remarkable 25 percentage bonus to research speed ultimately reducing the research time across the board it's also the gateway to unlocking your higher level to units like as t5 t4 etc which can significantly enhance your army capabilities moreover certain research things such as to the one of scholarship one as well as scholarship two also increases the possibility of increasing your research speed by a certain percent the third most important thing you should be doing is to increase your college of order at least to level 22 or 24 if you are trying to get t5 you must need it maxed to level 25 which will give you 25 percent of research speed bonus as well as the ability to unlock the t5 troops also so the most important thing is you should focus college of order after the hall of order as well as alliance center is finished now let's go to the fourth most important building in the game that is hospitals hospital is one of the most most important building in the game. Hospitals are your lifeline when it comes to healing and defense. Upgrading them is a crucial for your city's well-being. Upgrading hospital doesn't just provide a considerable power boost. It also offers an HP bonus. If you can see this, if you click on the info button, you can see that reaching level 25 of your hospitals give a 0.5 percentage HP bonus. So, one hospital upgrade reaching 25 gives you 0.5 percentage HP bonus. So total of four hospitals together makes a two percentage HP bonus in the game for all of your troops. In addition, upgrading hospital enhances your elixir production as well as daily resource healing capacity. This comes in handy when you are in a tight war situations as well as recovering after battles, ensuring your army stays battle ready for going back and back again in the war in the open field. So. the fourth and the most important building you should focus after the college of order as well as hall of order is the hospital hospital plays a very important role in your game plan so that's the fourth one now let's go to the fifth and last important building you should be most important building among them is the you should be focusing is the training centers each of this four five training centers you should be at least get it to 24 or 25 as soon as possible these are the backbone of your army and upgrading them is a strategic importance thing you should do training units in these camps can give your army crucial defense and attack bonuses if you can if you look at this you can see that when i take when i take the abbe for example and click on the info button you can see that taking it to level 25 give me an overall hp bonus of 2 percentage for my troops that is make example mage troops same goes for ballista factory which is mainly the for maxman it also gives a 2 percentage so total of 5 it gives about 25 percentage of hp bonus in total for each and every troops which is a very 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 good thing in the game Different units provide various benefits like overall defense for firing units and attack for infantry etc. When you upgrade these training units you are essentially enhancing your ar army's effectiveness allowing you to devise stronger strategies in the battlefield. If you are play if you are focusing on majors then go go try to try to max the uh, abbe for as soon as possible to level 25. If as at first because that's where your focus should be because if you are majors then go for mage training center if you are uh, archers then go for ballista factory because it is essential for to to train more amount of uh, archers in your game and also if you notice that the max level of each of these buildings gives you an option to train approximately 1600 total max troops in the game In addition you can also include the reserve tokens in the game so to increase the training capacity but the maxing this gives you a total of 1600 per day you can build that it almost take a day to build, uh, train a troops so it is essential for you to upgrade all these training centers to level 24 at as soon as possible in the game 
so these are the five most important building structures in the game now let's start strategy and tips for upgrading buildings in call of dragons first and foremost don't rush to d5 unless you are financially ready Competing in events like the City of Splendor can be gradual and rewarding approach to gaining the resources and rewards you need. You shouldn't, you never should focus T5 as an important priority if you don't spend in the game. If you are a play to play player, try to focus to get to up at least T4.5 or T4. That is the most important priority you should go. And if you are trying to spe spend a lot of money in the games, then it is easy for you. It's not easy, but it is it is possible you can focus on T5 and get it as soon as possible. The next important strategy is that utilization of mana stones and architecture research to your advantages. So, like you can see in the economic tech, this, this scholarship thing as well as... Uh, I mean the architecture thing will increase the b building speed as well as research speed for you guys so trying to focus these things as fast as possible making it easy to finish the buildings as well as tra uh, as well as researchers as soon as possible by reducing your speed ups and time as similarly you should also give importance to the you should also give importance to this uh, Bahamut Acolytes which will provide you with uh, different types of mana stone which will reduce which will give you an exception in percentage as the time like uh, research speed 5 percentage uh, or example training speed 5 percentage or in building speed 15 percentage these types of mana stones provide you with such a such a such a benefits of reducing the time in the game so this also is an essential while you are going to do some researches or buildings, upgrades or trainings. The third thing is maintaining a balance in your strategy. Don't overspend on one event. Compete multiple times for smaller rewards rather than going all out on your one big win. It's more of a sustainable approach because if you are trying to be a whale then it's okay for you. But if you are a mid spender or low spender trying to for, uh, build, uh, trying to spend on one i mean if you're completely uh, spending uh, completely maxing this you can't do that as a mid to spend or pre to spend player but if you this uh, some some uh, some bundles like like this uh, monthly packs which is very very essential things you can buy and make use of if you are if you are a a low spender or mid spender and that will make you a big big difference like this daily days which will give you the hero tokens which is essential in maxing your heroes so don't try to overspend in only in one event like if you are if a zenith of power event comes don't try to get your city team because many are many whales will be focusing on that event and you will definitely lose that event unless you are uh, you are not a whale but if you try to go for these events like this, you could get this, prepare for battle events. Like also there is a other event that names as, I don't know, it's not available right now. Like, uh, uh, yeah, you'll get this time to active and you speed ups to climb ranks. This also gives some hero tokens. You can combat in that events, making it more easier to get some rewards rather than focusing on one important event in the game. That's the, my another suggestion for use. The next thing is, Consider the timing of your upgrades. For example, waiting for a building power event before pushing any of your buildings. For example, if you are trying to upgrade your Hall of Order to level 25, be patient and wait for an event that will give you some rewards on pushing the power in building powers, pushing the building power, etc. If you are going to do T5 research, then wait for it wait for a research event to pop up so that you will get a maximum out of that by doing a push in that event so that is my one of my best suggestion because try to do pushing of or upgrading or researching or training anything you want in in certain events you where you will get back what you spent like 
spending some speedums will give you some hero tokens if you are pushing in that, uh, the event I just mentioned lately. So that's one of my other suggestions for you guys. Lastly, when upgrading the research building, ensure that you can speed it up immediately to save your time for upgrading tech. This can be a real game changer. If you are trying to upgrade a research building, try to get speed ups before that. Because unless you are going to uh, keep it, keep the research building go, uh, upgrading going on for about three, uh, four to four to five to six days, then it is no use because you are not doing any research in that four to five six days, and you are losing valuable time of your research. Unless if you are, have some speed ups in building speed ups in your hand, then go for the building upgrade and instantly finish it, and you can make utilize of other research time. This is a one. Of, this, I'm I'm assuring you, this will help you in a long process. So, please be strategically advanced in these games. So that's my suggestion for you guys. So that's all for today's episode. In conclusion, in upgrading the right building in Call of Dragons is a complex yet rewarding process. By focusing on the city hall, alliance center, center, research center, hospitals, and training units, and by applying smart and balanced strategies, you can. Have your path to success in a captivating world like this game, where many, many, many players are trying to uh, trying to reach upper than one of the one of the other players in the game. Remember, your city's growth and power are closely tied to your strategic choices and upgrades. So that's all for today's video. Thanks for tuning in today. If you found this guide very helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more valuable tips tricks and insight into Call of Dragons. So until next time, happy gaming and see you soon.